In this project, we'll be learning how to scrape data from behind the login page on a website. We'll be using Simple Scraper, Edit This Cookie, and Quotes to Scrape. The first tool we'll be using is Simple Scraper. You can install it at simplescraper.io. You'll need to be using Google Chrome in order to install it. The second tool we'll be using is Edit This Cookie. It's a Chrome extension. You can find and install the Edit This Cookie extension via the Google Chrome Web Store. And the third tool we'll be using is Quotes to Scrape. You can access it at quotes.toscrape.com. We'll scrape data from behind the login on this website. For convenience, I've timestamped this video in the description. And so you're aware of the legalities of scraping, I've linked a helpful article there too. To begin, go to quotes.toscrape.com. Quotes to Scrape is a web scraping sandbox. It's a place for you to test your web scraping skills. We're going to be scraping each quote on this page. And once we've logged in, a Goodreads link for each quote will appear We'll be scraping that too. Now click Login. As Quotes to Scrape is a sandbox for testing, this is a dummy page. Hence, for the username and password, I'll simply enter Test, then click Login. You'll now notice that instead of Login, it says Log Out. That's what we want. The reason being, we want to learn how to scrape behind a login with Simple Scraper. And what you'll also notice now is that the Goodreads link that we want to scrape will appear because we've logged in. Let's now open the Simple Scraper extension and click Scrape this website. We can now click the plus sign to begin adding the elements that we want to scrape. So now we can select the first piece of data that we want. And the first piece of data that we want to scrape is the quote. And we want every quote on this page. Now everything which is highlighted in green is what will get scraped when we run the scraper. Let's name this piece of data quote and click the tick to set it for when we run the scraper. Second, we want to scrape each Goodreads link on this page. Now, when I click the Goodreads link, what you'll notice is that many elements get selected. Now, what we can do from here is select the Goodreads quote and deselect the others because we don't need them. Now, as you can see, the Goodreads quote is the one that's highlighted and it's highlighted in green, which is fantastic because that's what will get scraped when we run the scraper. So let's name this piece of data Goodreads and click the tick to set it for when we run the scraper. Now click View Results to run the web scraper. Once Simple Scraper has run, it will return the selected data. At this point, we must save the scraper settings, following which we'll use the Edit This Cookie extension to generate a script to log into the site each time we scrape it. To save the settings for your web scraper, click Save Recipe. On this page, you'll be prompted to complete the following settings, so let's do that. Recipe name, let's simply enter quotes to scrape. URL, we can leave that as it is. Selective properties, quote and goodreads we selected these properties when we went through the initial scrape setup and page navigation we can leave that as it is now we must click show advanced options and find cookies which you can see towards the bottom here we need to insert the script which we will generate via the edit this cookie extension so let's do that the first thing that we'll need to do is go back to the Quotes to Scrape website. 
You'll want to make sure that you're still logged in. And as we can see, we are still logged in because it says log out. And once you've confirmed that, you'll want to open the edit this cookie extension. You'll want to click the option that has an outwards arrow. Once clicked, it'll say the cookie is copied to the clipboard. Now we can go back to Simple Scraper and paste that copied data into cookies. Our scraper will use this to log in to Quotes to Scrape when we run the web scraper. Please note this might not work if a site doesn't use cookies for user authentication. Now click Create Recipe. Your recipe should now appear under My Recipes and we can see it here, Quotes to Scrape. Click onto it. Along the top, you'll want to find and click Run Recipe. Now, the scraper will run as per our defined settings. We wanted to get the quote and Goodreads link for each entry on the first page. The script we entered in Cookie via Edit This Cookie will know to log into the website to scrape that data. And here is the data we requested. We can see that everything has got scraped and it has scraped the data, the Goodreads link, from behind the login on the website. We've accomplished our goal. We've scraped the data of website behind its login. This project is now complete. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this no-code project, please give this video a like. And if you want to be notified of the latest projects that I publish regularly, please subscribe. I'll see you in another no-code project.